Now let's look at how we derive the Gordon Grove model. Now the Gordon Grove model assumes that the dividend will grow at a constant rate forever. So if you look at the timeline, okay, we will assume that today we know the dividend issued by the company which is D0. Okay, but this has been paid, so we will not take this cash flow into account. Then of course in the next in the future the company will pay dividend equivalent to D1, okay, D2. Okay, and then uh, it will continue on to pay dividends uh, up to perpetuity which is uh, forever so the thing is how do we find the PV or the discounted value of all these dividends so of course uh, D1 will be based on D0 times 1 plus the constant growth rate D2 will be based on D0 times 1 plus the growth rate to the power of 2 and this goes on forever so when we discount this cash flow to time 0 so if I discount this so the value of P this D1 at time 0 will be d0 times 1 plus g over 1 plus r to the power of 1 and for the cash flow in, in year 2 okay the pv will be the dividend in year 0 times 1 plus g to the power of 2 over 1 plus r to the power of 2 and again this sequence goes on forever so in this kind of case when you want to find the value of this stock it will be based on the pv uh, of all the dividends sum up together So the PV will be based on uh, D0, 1 plus G over 1 plus R, okay, and then uh, we'll plus D0, 1 plus G uh, power 2 over 1 plus R to power 2, and this goes on forever. Now this resembles what we call a geometric progression. So in a, geome in a geometric progression, Okay, where we have the fr uh, so the sum of the geometric progression, let's say to term n, so we'll have the first term a, okay, plus a times a ratio r, and then each subsequent term will then uh, increase by a ratio of r, okay, up to period n minus one. So by definition, this would be equals to a, okay, times one minus r to the power of n over one minus r. So in the case where the geometric progression sums to infinity, then the whole formula would then uh, n, okay, would then reduce to zero, okay, and then uh, the whole term will just be a over one minus r. So if you link back this geometric progression formula to this uh, the p the value of the stock based on the Gordon Grove model, the value of a will be equals to d zero, okay, uh, times one plus g over one plus r. And then the value of the ratio r here will be based on 1 plus g over 1 plus r. So let's just write that down. So in this case, a is based on the first term. Okay, and r will be based on the ratio of the two terms. So let's list that down. So a is equals to d0 times 1 plus g over 1 plus r. And the ratio r here would be 1 plus g over 1 plus r. So substituting the formula here, a is equals to d0 times 1 plus g over 1 plus r, and then we divide by 1 minus 1 plus g over 1 plus r. So if we solve this, okay, uh, so if simplify this, this would be d0, 1 plus g, okay, and then this 1 plus r will multiply it to the denominator, so that will give you, uh, I'll just write the full thing, 1 plus r, and then the whole thing is 1 minus 1 plus g over 1 plus r alright and then that simplifies to d0 1 plus g and then you multiply this 1 plus r into 1 so that's 1 plus r and then minus this whole bracket so that leaves you with just minus 1 plus g so we see there's 1 minus 1 here so the formula would then simplify to just equals to d0 1 plus g over r minus g okay and that is how we obtain the formula for the Gordon Grove model okay it is based on the sum to an infinite geometric progression so as to why we take r minus g okay of course uh, because r is the required rate of return here 
and assuming that the, the stock grows at a constant rate forever so that's a benefit and the benefit reduces that cost okay the required cost so that's how we get this uh, formula